Hello everybody, we Paddy from Across the Shock and I'm holding before you my £600 Herman Custom Knife from Polish Custom Knife Works who kindly sent it to me for review and for the channel. Um, I've been EDC in this all week, I can't get it out of my pocket, I think it is just the most beautiful and it's like the only thing I've done to this knife is I put two little dabs of knife pivot oil on it and it is just drop shot, it has just changed the action completely from when I first had it. It is beautiful. So what I'm going to do, I said I was going to do cut tests and I've been using the EDC. I've not sharpened it since I got it. It came with a polished, uh, I'm sure if you look at the, the original video, it comes with a polished edge. Um, I'm not sure what the angles are. I haven't checked it. I've no need to. It's a knife and it cuts. So <laughs> I know that's a bit basic, but there we go. So what I'm going to do, I haven't even stropped this, right? This is just the knife as it came to me. This is how sharp this knife is. Oh, there we go. Look at that. It is just beautiful. So what I am going to do is, I told you I was going to do different things than most people will do with a £600 knife. I believe you see it in cutting boxes. Not a problem. Doesn't mark the blade. The blade's held up rightly. I'm cutting carpet. This is carpet, which has got a quite a thick back on it. You would put on a concrete floor without having to use uh, an underfelt. So that it's quite a tough bit of carpet. I'm just going to cut a square. I'm doing this for Sally, but it's of Sally's bed in the caravan. I'm going to do that. And I, I, got, I was going to just use a bit of pine or something, but I've got this chipboard wood, which is horrible wood, as you know, to cut through, because it will scratch and it will do whatever. So I'm going to use that and cut with that. This, I want to see how much this blade, the actual, it's um, like a light stone wash on it um, that's been tumbled, I think. But I want to see if it leaves any marks on it. So without further ado, I am going to cut this up. So I've marked out, oh gosh, now that, can you hear that? That is like a knife going through butter. My Medford didn't go through anywhere near that nice. Um, now it's a thicker blade stock in the Medford anyway, but so geometry really does matter. <laughs> I know people keep thinking the you know geometry doesn't matter, it's just a conversation piece, but the geometry of the blade, this is obviously very, very thin behind the edge. Oh gosh, that is so easy. That is scarily easily going through this car. But look, it is stunning. Wow. Now I'm not easily impressed, but that's impressed me. That's probably the nicest cutting blade I've ever used. Now I'm going to go across the grain here, again, it's it, I can't tell you how easy that was to go through, absolutely beautiful. So again, there's not a mark on the blade either. I'm just going to show you what this is like, is it, I'm bringing it over to the camera, how's that Sal? We okay. Sal's behind the camera. Oh gosh, that bites in, that really, it's such a thin edge. Right, good gosh, that really is. This is tough little bit of wood. I wouldn't have used this if I didn't know what it was going to be this tough. It just wants to bite into this so deep, it just sinks in. Now, this is not a hard use knife, so this titanium handle is a bit slippery when you're doing harder work, but after I do this test, am I going to chop up bits of wood with this knife? No, I'm trying to see what the, the coating is like on the knife. So, I just want you to see how it just eats up into I'm really having to fight the knife wanting to go in and go deep. It's just so sharp. This is M390, as I was saying in the initial video. <laughs> this is just mauling this. Once I've got the hang of it. It's trying to stop it from going too deep. That's gnarly stuff. When I don't do, as long as I'm cutting sort of up the way, it's all right. But other than that, it just wants to go right through the center of it. But this is not a whittling knife. So you'll not see that, but I'm gonna bring you up closer. And I'll show you what that looks like. There's not a mark that I can see on the blade whatsoever, the coating or whatever is on it. It looks lovely. 
what's it like to cut with? Right. Look, it's M390. This shouldn't affect it. That is absolutely lovely. Really is just a nice. Try and do this slowly. This is receipt paper, so as you know, receipt paper is so thin. Oh, I'm making a right for it. Oh, Stephen. <laughs> right. You can see that's sharp. Right, I made a right while like that. I'm going to take it away. I'm going to give it a wee strop in front of you now. I'm just going to set it over on the table and I'm going to do a wee strop just to bring it back to perfect sharpness. You can see it's getting caught up a wee bit, but it's not damaged it at all. So I'll give you a close up in a minute. Pause. Oh, there we putty back again. I want to show you that up close. Can you see that okay? Um, It's still got the dirt and all on it, so. Good old jeans, that's what they're for. I'm going to take it off and I'm going to show you the edge if I can get there to see the glint of the edge. Not really mm. coming across. There's a glint um, of the edge. Okay, dog, anyway, it hasn't marked, it doesn't seem to have marked the blade whatsoever. Um, and I really, I didn't expect it to because it's a stonewash finish. I can see little. Well, I can't. I can't see anything. I'm trying to be positive. I'm trying to be not negative, but I don't want to be so positive. But there's the knife. <laughs> Again, it's M390. I don't expect that little bit of work to have made any difference to it. But I just wanted to show. This is what you should be doing with your knife after you come in from work or your day's EDC. Just doing this on a knife stops you from constantly sharpening. And just dull in the edge of your knife. And when you're stropping, always check that you haven't blunted it because stropping, although it doesn't remove much steel, it you know it still removes a little bit. So always check during your stropping that you you're not sort of dulling over because you can. Anyway, there we go. That to me is a knife that can go back tomorrow. It'll stay in my pocket today. Um, to cut whatever I wanted to cut. Look at that. Oh, I took it side of my finger off there. <laughs> Patty and his cutting. There you go. Look, that is as sharp as a razor. So, am I pleased with the geometry of the knife? Absolutely. It is a beautiful geometry. Is it the most grippiest knife in circumstances where you're going to get sweaty? No, it's not. But this is £600 show knife. So, this is not something I'm going to buy to do them sort of jobs. It's something I'm going to buy for my collection, but I want to use it in everyday use. I don't want it just sitting in the drawer. For, for me, if you're going to spend £600, now this is just me. I know people like to save their knives, so that's fine, but I'm not one of them. Because I'm a reviewer, when I review a knife and I say I've used it, I want you to believe that I've used it. So that if that's what you're looking for and you want to see if it marks up or the blade, can, you know, the... The coating of blades come off. I want to be able to say, look, this is what happens. So, there we go. Let out waffle. But the Herman knife, it's the Sting 57 from Polish Custom Knives. Please go check them out. They have some beautiful, and they have different Polish custom makers who they sell for at their premises. Oh, they're just to die for. And I know it's expensive. But Christmas is coming, and if you've got a few quid, and if this is a wives I'm speaking to, your husband will love this. He will love you to death. You will get so many brownie points. He'll even make your tea. There you go. I, I, and, and do a bit of hoovering. Paddy's away. I'm talking about it right now. All the best. Bye-bye now.